Hello everyone, welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. It is finally out and we have all been playing it. Uh, this is going to be a series and it's just going to be a guide going through the menu books in the cafe. These kind of operate as the, I guess some direction towards a career mode, uh, giving you objectives and cars to collect, in which case you get some rewards back on that. So today we're going to jump into what you need to do for the first menu book and then there will be a number released as I go through them just going through all the menu books and you can just follow along it'll be a nice simple guide guiding you through what to do. So let's take a look at it. Near the beginning of the game you're going to unlock the cafe. It's located right in the middle of the map and when you come into it you get a nice little intro cinematic a cute little quaint cafe hidden in the woods how about let's go see what's in this cafe so we meet luca who kind of runs the cafe in the menu books for us he'll give us our first menu book and it's just a quick collection of three japanese cars not too hard is it? I don't think so. Now you might notice that by the time you get your first menu book you already have one of the cars. That'll be because before you get to this moment you've already had to purchase one car. So really you only got to get two more. Nice and easy. Let's have a quick look at what we need to do to complete the first menu book. So, like I said, first we would have already gone through and collected our first car. I put them as the Demio, eh, for no real reason other than, hey, it was turbocharged. Who doesn't love a good turbo? So, that's how I got the first car. And just as a little funny bit, uh, I guess, you know, they're still ironing out some bugs in the game. When I purchased this car, you can see it gives you a lot of information at the bottom, you know, some text to read. And then old Sarah here has a lot to say, but the overwriting text just would not get out of the way. Anyway, with that done, let's jump back into what it takes to collect the second car. For that, we're going to join the Sunday Cup at Lego Maggior, the centre circuit. So it's a real simple race. Two laps around here. We're just going to get third place or higher. So let's jump in to my race. Now, I hadn't really set up any of the settings, so jumping into this was a bit overwhelming to start off with. Right now I'm frantically trying to change the gears and I'm well confused why they're not changing. Uh, I quickly figured out though that the game has started me off in automatic and I do not need to worry about that. I did try turning off a lot of the assists to start off the game, um, but as you can see some of them were still on and traction control was still on so I'm flicking that off while heading down the road at 70 miles per hour. And by the time I get to take stock of where I am, I'm halfway around the course and in second position. So things are going good right now. It's good that it starts you off on a nice, easy, simple race. It just really teaches you the basics pretty well. You know, it's introducing this menu book, car collecting and racing in a not so stressful way. And with that, we take first place heading into lap two. So now we can go just for a quick little guide of how I did it into lap 2. You want to break to this first corner, it's not too difficult. Keep it in third gear and just hit that apex. Down to second gear for the next corner and just let it coast around. Now you can just put your pedal to the metal. The next few corners may as well be straights. Um, your first car ain't going to go too fast so basically you can just floor it down this back half of the track just getting as much speed up as possible now just heading down the long back straight 
nothing too exciting here and what I realized is that I'm not going too fast and I've braked pretty late at about the 50 marker and comfortably made the apex there turned it around full acceleration out of the corner back into third nice and simple how's that for a lap probably pretty average I know I know but we crossed the line in first place fantastic so let's have a look at the second race now uh, we're heading over to Broad Bean Raceway in Japan and Sunday Cup again and third place or higher again so I switched over a few of the settings and got it into manual for this race so it was a lot more fun being able to flick up and down the gears and now that we're in it let's get into it so our first corner could probably do it flat out to be honest but just coasted to I knew it was going to take a wider line didn't want to hit that wall and carry that momentum past the next car into the second corner now similar to the first race a lot of these corners you can just basically do flat out which is what I'm doing here I uh, see these cars are tight so I thought I'd just take the wide line and then oh all of a sudden that gap well and truly disappeared but it's all good uh, we're not going too high speed managed to keep it under control and we're on to the last final corner onto the back well main straight uh, so not too much stress there the only real part is you need to break here coming into the first corner did it a little bit before the 50 mark and quite comfortable around and this is the first place car we're coming up to now carrying all that momentum thought it'd just go around the outside nice and easy and that's it we're into first place now coming up to the next corner we're about eight kajillion miles away from hitting that apex god that was awful but still made it around thankfully and uh, onto the final corner rounding the bend coming easing onto the main straight and it's going to be another fantastic first place the little celebratory 360 gotta love it well and just a little nudge on the way through from the red car uh, and then we finish off with the confirmation of first place and a little bit of a celebratory screen showing off that nice first place trophy collecting our credits and our workout kilometers nice and ta-da there we go third car in the menu done and dusted just like that so we don't have any nice gameplay footage but from here it's a real simple just go back to the cafe go speak to our old mate there he'll hand you your reward and also your next menu book and that's it completed for the first menu book a japanese co compact card so for the next menu book check it out in the next video right here and apart from that happy racing <laughs>